Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi shrahni sabri wa yisabli amri wa ahlul uqtadam min nisami yifrah qawli Okay, let's start with the quiz insha'Allah So how many how many days of Ramadan have you completed fasting? Ten days? And uh, which tarawih are we on? Eleventh tarawih Which Jews are we praying tonight? It's getting harder now which story are we studying in Tarawih? So they use it, mashallah. And um, what was the story in the, the Champions, League, Champions League this evening? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about Surah Yusuf because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions at the start of this surah that نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ أَحْسَنَ الْقَصَصِ بِمَا أَوْحِيْنَا إِلَيْكَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ وَإِنْ كُنْتَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ لَمِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this is the best of stories that we relate to you. And as one goes through this surah and looks at the story of Yusuf السلام, and reflects upon it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says right at the end, لَقَدَ كَانَ فِي قَصَصِهِمْ عِبْرَةٌ لِأُولِ الْأَلْبَابِ That for those of you in these stories who look and reflect upon the stories, there is um, a lesson for people of understanding. So in this surah, there are many, many wisdoms, many, many lessons that we can learn from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. But in the short time I have, I want to focus specifically on one tangent of the story. And this is the brothers of Yusuf alayhi salam. This tangent usually is overlooked because the star of the story is Yusuf alayhi salam. And the surah revolves around Yusuf alayhi salam. The brothers, when we look at the brothers from the very beginning of the story, we realize that they are guilty on many accounts. And their list of crimes and mistakes gets bigger and bigger and bigger. From the start of the story, the beginning of the story, Yusuf alayhi salam, he narrates to his father, Ya'qub alayhi salam, Inni ra'aytu ahada ashara kawkaba wa shamsa wal qamara ra'aytu hum ni sajideen. That, oh my father, I saw 11 stars, the sun and the moon, all prostrate, prostrating to me. What did Ya'qub alayhi salam, his father say? Don't narrate this story to your brothers. Because the father was aware of the burning jealousy of the brothers. Even though Yusuf alayhi salam did not narrate this story to the brothers, we realize in the next verses that the brothers, they are plotting and they are planning against their blood brother. From this verse alone, we derive many, many benefits. First of all, these brothers, their jealousy was so, to such a high level that they wanted to kill their blood brother. Either kill him or expel him out of the land so that we will gain the mercy of our father for ourselves. And then what did they say? They decided to do a sin. And before they did the sin, they made uh, an intention for repentance. <coughs> before doing the sin, they made an intention for repentance. And just to put this into perspective, right? Many of us we say, Oh, I have a long time, I have a lot of my life left. Maybe inshallah, in, when I become 40, 50, I'll go to Hajj. I'll become a pious, righteous person. This is what they said, that we will do whatever we wish, we wish now. And then later on in life, we will turn and become a righteous people. We will repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, when they get involved in backbiting, they say this, I've heard it. In Urdu, they say, Allah maaf kare. You know, but this brother said this and this. Oh, may Allah forgive me, but this brother did this and this. They're asking for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then they're committing the sin of backbiting. So here we see that you try to repent and then you do a sin, it's not allowed. It's not acceptable in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the second learning that we get from this, the burning jealousy of the brothers. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Iyakum wal hasad, that beware of jealousy because jealousy destroys good deeds as wood, fire burns wood. This is so serious that an irrational person can become irrational. That a person who is of good thought can lose his senses when it comes to burning rage and burning jealousy. So the first thing we see that is that they had this burning jealousy. And then they said to their father Yaqub let Yusuf come and play and eat with us. And Yaqub he knew about their jealousy, but he wanted some excuse. So he said, uh, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe the wolf may eat him. And it was this excuse that the brothers they took of their father. And they went out with Yusuf salam, with an intent to kidnap him. So they lied to their father. They were guilty of lying as well. And when they came back, what, what did they do? They presented the shirt of Yusuf salam, falsifying evidence. They took the shirt and they said, oh, look, the wolf ate him. Your fears were true. And Yaqub salam, was a prophet and he was a very smart person. And he, he was thinking, you know, the, the shirt is not torn. 
How can a wolf eat Yusuf and the shirt is, uh, the shirt is not torn? So many, many things they were guilty of. And what, what are we trying to get through? Through these actions of the brothers, we realize that there is so much hope and so much optimism in the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because what happens right at the end of the story, when Yusuf, Yusuf alayhi salam, he becomes the minister. The story goes after many years that uh, the um, brothers, they come into Egypt and Yusuf alayhi salam recognizes them. And then he, he said, next time you come, bring your youngest brother, Bin Yamin. They bring him. And he, Yusuf alayhi salam puts a goblet into the bag of Bin Yamin. And then he says, somebody has taken this goblet. Let us find out whose bag it's in. And the moment they find the goblet in the bag of their younger brother, what did the brothers do? They continue their slander. They said, oh, if this one is a thief, his brother was a thief many, many years ago. So we see on many, many accounts, they, these brothers, they were guilty of wrongdoings. And they were guilty of sinning. Then when Yusuf alayhi salam tells them that he's his brother, they say, are you really our brother? And he said, yes, I am your brother. I am your brother and this is my younger brother, Bin, uh, bin Yamin. And then they said, They realized that they have made a mistake. And they said, we are the sinners. So one of the first learnings we, get, we understand from this, that after time and time of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they realized their mistakes. And they put their hands up and they said, we are at fault, we realize our mistakes. And then they asked Yusuf alayhi salam to forgive them. And Yusuf alayhi salam being a prophet himself, he said, قَالَ لَا تَثْرِيبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْيَوْمُ يَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ That there is nothing upon you today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. He is the most merciful of the merciful. And then they even asked their father to forgive them. And then even their father responds by saying, قَالَ سَوْفَ أَسْتَغْفِرُ لَكُمْ رَبِّي إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ That I will seek forgiveness on your behalf to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. So in conclusion, what, in summary, this story, what do we learn? We learn that despite the list of mistakes and the crimes that the brothers of Yusuf alayhi salam had, intent to kill, intent to um, uh, you know, uh, for, lie, falsify information, and they had very, very evil intentions. Even after this, they became stars, as was seen in the dream of Yusuf alayhi salam. So, this is the month of mercy. This is the month of rahmah. This is the month of forgiveness. Whatever we have done in our life previously, we talked about the theme of forgiveness in Surah At-Tawbah, and even one of the tangents of this story is forgiveness. We turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this blessed month of Ramadan Mubarak. This is a time for Tawbah. This is a time for repentance. This is a time for turning over a new leaf. That, oh Allah, I am coming to, into the month of Ramadan as a sinner, and I wish to leave, leave as a clean person. I want to turn over a new leaf. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to instill us in us these qualities of Yusuf alayhi salam, and we learn from these stories of Yusuf alayhi salam and implement them in our lives. Wa alhamdulillah.